fact, it is instant, almost instant, no more delay. Okay, what? Let's open the sensor, it is on. Let's close the sensor, it is on. Okay. Hey Siri, turn on colorful lights. Hey Siri, turn off colorful lights. Okay, the colorful light is off. Hey Siri, what is the status of backdoor contact sensor? Backdoor contact sensor is closed. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free for subscriptions. Give me a like and share with others. Click on the bell button for notification of future video. Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my another video of Smart Home. Two three weeks ago I uploaded the video about the Eat Lights Wi-Fi color light bulbs. Without wiring and without programming, we managed to install and control by voice in the Apple Home apps as well as Siri. In another video, I also demonstrate how to install and use the Akara G2H uh, camera hubs and then connect it to the contact sensor with the contact sensor in Akara G2 hub we can create a rule based automation if uh, a sensor is triggered then do something here is a question can we use Akara sensor for example the contact sensor to trigger the ink lights color light bar? two different products in two different apps how do we do that one way is to using me home apps sell me product because both akara and dig lights are compatible with uh, me home apps therefore you can do automation there but there are at least two problems of this method number one you need a server probably somewhere in china or in singapore because of that the signal from the sensor trigger at your home going out from your home go to the server somewhere out there and come back to trigger the egg lights if you are lucky it take one to two seconds if you are unlucky longer than that and worse the server is down or automation never trigger uh, the second problem is uh, even this me home apps is useful what if you have another brain uh, products not support uh, me home apps so this Mi Home S cannot be a solution for all product. However, if you are an Android user, using Mi Home apps might be the solution. Okay. The perfect way is to have a local server program uh, using the Node.js or Python code. But that will be require a lot of knowledge. If you are an Apple Siri user, then there is a very easy way. Okay, uh, which is in uh, under the home kits automation. I need to emphasize that the method using the home kits of Apple does not require any server. In fact, it does not require internet connection. It will work around our local area network only. Uh, in the demonstration, I will show you if I unplug the internet connection to the outside with only lens, it will still trigger. Automation will still trigger. So just a reminder in the in the Akara apps previous uh, video we have set up the backdoor contact sensor in the first as shown in the list as well as a G2H camera. So we're going to bring them to the home apps. So let's open our home apps. Okay, let's uh, uh, select the add button. Select the add accessory. So we can add accessory that previously set up in the compatible apps such as uh, Iglight apps or Akara apps such as okay, now what we can do is we scan the barcode at the bottom of the camera in this case so let's scan the barcode okay this barcode also available in the user menu okay of the camera together with the box so select add to home home meaning home apps of Apple once it added it is a home kit Okay, that's the definition so let's create a new room it's not a must but for us to easy to remember and uh, the collection okay let's create a room and continue 
Let's create a room as a YouTube room. Okay, in this case, for me to do the YouTube video, this YouTube video. Continue. So uh, let's put the name. Okay, you actually can choose any name, but for standardized, uh, we put the same name with the Akara Apps, which is a G2H camera. Okay, then camera. Then continue. So uh, we do not need to choose uh, streaming or recording for now. In future, you can export, or in future, we can do another video. Just continue and then continue. Then immediately, uh, home has detected the there's a there's a contact sensor actually connected with the help with the hub with the hub. So let's add the hub together into home apps as well as a home kit. So continue. Of course, we better put into the same room. It's not a mask, but better. Continue. Let's change the name, same as a uh, uh, home uh, Akara apps, which is a uh, back door contact sensor. Okay. So we continue. Continue. And done. Once done in the home apps, you can see there is a new room called. YouTube. Under this YouTube room, you have three devices. Of course, the first one is the uh, G2H camera. Okay. And then there is a motion detector uh, sensor, which is an image based motion detector sensor. At the moment, it's motion detected, of course. I'm moving around here. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if there's no motion, it will show motion, uh, no motion detect. And then there is a back door contact sensor over here backdoor contact sensor currently is closed okay because uh, now it's open because I take out one part of it okay obviously you can see it close back if I put it together okay now it's closed so we have three device okay we have three device here now on the other hand uh, previously in another video I demonstrated to use the ink light, colorful light set up in the ink lights and then link to the Akar, link to Apple Home. So which is the colorful light here in the bottom here. So we're going to move this one to the same room which is we call YouTube just for easy uh, management. It is not a mask, eh? not a mask for do any automation, just for easy management and just for me to show you how to do that. Okay, uh, Hold on the icon. The right bottom corner, select the setting. Under the room, okay, select the room name. This time, we select YouTube and then close. So now we go to YouTube room. We have four devices the camera itself, the image based motion sensor, the backdoor contact sensor, and the uh, colorful light of the EG light. We're almost ready to set up the automation, okay? But we need to have a home hub, okay? This home hub allows us to store the automation and uh, it allows us to access our home kits outside the local area network, which means from outside, access the devices from outside. Okay, what is home hub? What can we have a home hub? One of the following things can be a home hub. Only one of following. You don't have to have all of them. Number one, uh, Apple HomePod speaker or HomePod mini speaker. Okay, you, you if you have them, it can be a home hub. Number two, uh, Apple TV 4K. Once you have that, you can it can be a home hub. But number three is the easiest one, and I always do that. You may have an iPad, okay, running iOS 10.0 and above. In this case, I have a very old iPad Mini 2 running as a home hub. Okay, how does it work as a home hub? Okay, very easy. Just go to the make sure you uh, the Apple ID log into the home hub as well. Okay, go to the setting. The screen is not so good, it's very old, it's six seven years old. Browse until going down all the way. Until you, you saw one thing under the setting, you see one thing called home, the home app button. Select it, 
and make sure you enable okay use this iPad as home hub that's it uh, then it will be a home hub once you enable this this iPad uh, has to be at home cannot take out and has to be connect to the Wi-Fi all the time what I do is I will just uh, you know dim it okay off the screen and then connect to the power 24 7 okay meanwhile if you look at your iPhone uh, go to the uh, home of the home apps select home setting okay you can see there are there is an option called hubs and bridge if you select the hub you can see the uh, home hubs is actually the uh, my iPad mini meanwhile I have a, a iPhone also as a home hub but it is actually a so-called what do you call it a jailbreak iPhone uh, 5s you may have multiple home hub doesn't matter Okay, you can have three or four multiple home hub. They will arrange and choose the best to use while the rest will be standby. For the bridge, what is what are the bridges? I will discuss in a future video. We are now almost ready to create the automation. Before that, just final testing the e light color bar. I have installed on the ceiling over there. Okay, so let's click on. It is on green color. Let's click off. It is off. So we are now ready to create the automation. To create the automation, first go to the automation icon at the bottom. This is assuming that you already set up the uh, uh, home hub. And then I have many automation, just you know it. Click the plus icon on the top and uh, select a sensor detect something. So what is a sensor? Go to the YouTube uh, room. Select the back door contact sensor. Next, select when it is open. When it is open, eh? the sensor is open. Next, what do we do when the sensor is open? Go to the heat light, uh, the YouTube room. Select the colorful heat light. Then next, when the sensor is open, what do we do? We long press the icon. Select the on color to be red and then select the light the, the level brightness level let's say 200 percent 200 percent and then we click the cross icon on the top done okay so in other words when the sensor is open the ink light will be on so let's create another rule when the sensor is closed the ink light will be off so let's add another automation a sensor detects something select the same sensor the back door contact sensor next when it is closed uh, the time and so on will be in future video next select the ink, the colorful lights from the ink lights okay next so this time we will just turn off without setting anything done so i need to remind you that the automation may take about 20 seconds or more or less 20 seconds to be fully uh, safe into the home hub before it can be tested we are now ready to test the sensor and the heat light when i open the sensor uh, the the colorful heat light will be turned on in red color yes when i close the heat light will be turned off just like our automation set in the home apps in fact it is instant almost instant no more delay okay no delay just on and off quickly why can be responding so fast this is because the the the, the automation run in the local area network only this is an advantage of apple home apps it does not require going out to somewhere server in singapore in china and come back that's why it can be very fast so this is a uh... Uh, modem from the internet service provider this is the Wi-Fi router now I will turn remove the power of internet service provider okay while the Wi-Fi router is still on by doing that there's no more internet only the Wi-Fi running uh, 
among the uh, devices inside the house within the local area network. So as shown, I already removed the internet connection. Now whatever Wi-Fi is within the local area network only, let's try to connect to the browser. Let's say connect to the Google. It is not connectable because there's no internet connection. So now, can we still run the... See, Safari cannot connect to the page because it stopped responding. Not because of the server responding, it's because of the no internet connection from my house to outside. Now let's try to go to the home apps. Can we still uh, control the colorful light bar by placing the icon? The answer is yes, it is still on and it is still can be off. What about using the sensor? Okay, let's open the sensor. It is on and let's close the sensor. It is on. Proven that uh, everything run in the home apps, hope everything that run in the home apps is actually within the local area network it is responding very fast it does not require any server outside a bonus in fact i can still use a voice command of series okay hey siri turn on colorful lights okay the colorful light is on hey siri turn off colorful lights off does not require internet connection just local area network hey siri what is the status of backdoor contact sensor backdoor contact sensor is closed okay so now i open it okay now i open it already hey siri what is status of backdoor contact sensor backdoor contact sensor is open so the demo has been successful, we create automation, we manage to link two different uh, devices from two different brains, one from Akara, one from Big Light in the Apple home apps. We also demonstrated without the internet, the whole thing is still working and together with the Siri commands as well. So far we have uh, demonstrated automation with a single input and single output using the sensor to turn on the line. What about situation that you need to set automation with multiple input such as multiple contact sensor or mix with other sensor motion sensor through the camera or normal motion sensor or uh, uh, water sensor or illumination sensor can that be done the answer is yes the structure of the apple home automation capable of multi-input and multi-output but at the same time the answer is no because the existing home apps does not support multi-input so to do that we we need to use another apps okay uh, but the video is long enough we will continue the multiple input which is multiple sense multiple input sensor multiple output device of the uh, automation in the next video using another apps stay without programming in the next video thank you for watching my video do subscribe to my channel I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.